Hey there! I'm Sir Gerald, and for this video, we'll be discussing paraphrasing. What is paraphrasing? Paraphrasing is presenting ideas and information in your own words and acknowledging where they come from. It is important because by doing paraphrasing, you showcase your understanding and your ability to convey this information. Paraphrasing is most used in our review of related literature as we will be using information from different sources. Paraphrasing will also evade plagiarism tools. We should also note that paraphrasing is different from quoting. Quoting is copying your source word by word and then adding quotation marks. These are less preferred in research papers as it will reduce readability and might not reflect your understanding of their statements. Coding is only effective when giving definition and analyzing a very specific claim. With that out of the way, these are the steps on how to paraphrase. Number 1. Read the passage multiple times, so that you have fully understood the information you are about to paraphrase. Number 2. Note down important concepts for you not to miss them out. Number 3. Write your own version of the passage. Make sure to include those concepts and do not look at the original paper. Number four, compare your version to the original and adjust if it is too similar. And lastly, number five, cite your sources. Now, if you're still having a hard time paraphrasing, here are some quick tips that might help you out. Number one, use synonyms. You can use thesaurus to look up synonyms of different terms. Number two, you can break the information into separate sentences. And lastly, you may add signal phrases. This is when we add and mention the author in the beginning of the sentence. Look at the example right here. Let's analyze the paraphrase sentence. The blue ones are the signal phrases, which also serves as the citation. The green ones are the synonyms. And lastly, the statement is now broken down into two sentences. And that's it for paraphrasing.